it was almost an age ago that reality vanished for good. It was annihilated by a group of ruthless geniuses from Europe. So who banished reality from this new physics? Who is responsible for removing it, for making it persona non grata? One man. One man deserves the credit and one man deserves the blame. Niels Bohr. A towering figure of Danish physics, very influential. Someone who shaped how physicists, how a generation of physicists think about the meaning of quantum physics. Measurement is not really a big deal for people who grew up with a classical perception of the world. It just uncovers pre-existing properties of the object. If something does exist, we can see it, and measurement just reveals what is already there. If you see something red, obviously it was red before. If you see something white, obviously it was white before. But it's not quite the case in quantum physics. For Bohr, things exist, the outcomes of the measurements do exist, they form part of reality, preparation is part of reality, but not anything in between. So I take a coin, I put it here, and then I look at it, this is the act of the measurement. So now it's real, I can see whether it's heads or tails, that's the outcome of the measurement. But is it real now? Is it heads or tails? You don't know. Einstein found it really appalling. For him it was thoroughly unacceptable to think about physics in those terms. The fact that there's no reality, that there are things that can happen without any reason, that didn't make sense at all. In fact, Einstein said several times, you know, I would rather be a cobbler than a physicist in this particular case. It doesn't make sense to me. 